am super excited about today's message because today's topic is a game changer for salespeople who understand and embrace this concept. In fact, this concept is so important that we're going to spend today and tomorrow on it. What do we sell as insurance producers? Regardless of the product, ultimately all we sell is a promise. The customer buys a policy. Something bad happens. We promise to help them. That's it. But there are two huge problems when it comes to selling promises. The first one is they aren't sexy. They don't get people excited. You see, humans buy based on their emotional attachment to something. Emotions will always trump sensibility and logic when it comes for people to buy something. Consumers buy based off of their senses. They like the way something feels or smells or the way that they look. Uh, when they're in it or the way it looks when they bring it into their home. They love the way something tastes. Uh, think about the last time you bought a car, all right? Bring back that experience. The first thing that that car salesperson did when you got onto the lot was get you behind the wheel for a test drive. Well, why did he or she do that? Because it's super clean and people love that new car smell. They want to feel how it accelerates so much faster than their current vehicle and how it handles when they take the corner. Uh, a car test drive puts you on sensory overload and it ties you to that vehicle emotionally. Then, once you have, a, once you have that emotional attachment, the cost becomes secondary. So the second problem we have trying to sell a promise is that it's not real to people. It's not something they can touch or feel or smell or taste. They don't get excited about it and most don't even believe that they'll ever need it. So they have no emotional attachment to it. I'm going to pause there and let you digest this concept because it is a big one. You have to get into the heads uh, and the mindsets of your prospects if you are going to truly understand the why behind their decisions. Okay, so we understand the promises aren't sexy and on the surface prospects have no emotional attachment. So it's our job as producers to bring these promises to life and the way ultra successful salespeople have done this since the beginning of time is by harnessing the power of story. It's a fact that the top salespeople use an average of five stories within each sales presentation. Let me share with you an amazing research project that was done on eBay not too long ago. A gentleman purchased 200 objects and spent under $2 for each of those objects. He then contacted a slew of writers and asked them if they would participate in his experiment to prove the power of story in sales. Now, each writer composed a well thought out, detailed, specific story behind each of those items that cost the man less than $2. All 200 items were then listed on eBay with the stories provided by the writers. The one that sold for the highest amount was a small plastic horse head. It cost 99 cents to buy, but when they added the story to it, it sold for $62.95. Now I know what you're thinking. Great, some idiot overpaid for a plastic horse head. Now, the other 199 items were all sold and the total amount paid for those items added up to just shy of $8,000. These were 200 items purchased for $129. The same 200 items with the backing of a great story, two weeks later, sold for $8,000. Emotional investment. The higher it is, the less critical we become. People buy what they want not what they need. For years, people have struggled as insurance producers because they are trying to sell the features and explain to prospects why they need their promise. People fail in this industry because they don't grasp the concept of emotional attachment. The way we get people emotionally attached is by telling them a story. Have you ever watched a movie? Rhetorical question, didn't need to answer that one. Ever laugh or cry or feel sad or get angry or all of those things during uh, this two hour movie that you just watched? Sure. 
you've experienced all of those emotions because you were fully engaged in the story. In fact, you were so engaged that when you were crying or angry or, or whatever your emotion was, I mean, it was over a character that doesn't even really exist. You were so emotionally attached that after you left that movie, you went out and purchased something that reminded you of that movie. Uh, perhaps it was a watch or an outfit or a car or took a vacation or did something monetarily because of your emotional attachment attachment to that movie, that story. Do you know how I know this? Because last year alone, companies spent over $11 billion, that's a billion with a B, on product placement within movies because they understand the power of emotional attachment. So think about something you bought recently that you really didn't need. Um, but you made that purchase because you just really wanted it. Think about a story that pulled you in emotionally and made you uh, make a purchase or send a donation. Then start to think about and then write down some of the stories you can tell from your experiences at the office. A story of when you delivered on a promise that you sold. And remember, simply telling is not selling. Top salespeople understand the power of bringing their products to life and they understand they can only do this through the power of story. If you enjoyed this video, I have great news for you. You will absolutely love our 100 day challenge here at the Positive Impact Club. We have created uh, 100 training videos just like this one that are specifically designed to improve your production and your results at the agency. So I encourage you to check it out today.